Right now, though, I am baffled. I have said these things in the past, and I mean them, and I think I was right. I said three years ago that if you were to trade me Aaron Rodgers, in return, I would give you my first-round pick in perpetuity as long as he's on my roster. So as long as you give me Aaron Rodgers, I give you my first-round pick until I cut him. And I think I would get the better end of that deal. I've also said that while Rodgers doesn't yet have the championship ring resume that you need to be considered the greatest quarterback ever, to me that's Tom Brady and then Joe Montana, if you're asking me who has played the position at the highest level over the course of a season, who has mastered the quarterback position better than anyone else ever, it's Aaron Rodgers. I think Rodgers at his best is the best we've ever seen. So the question I have is this. What the hell has happened? Going back a full season, 16 weeks, from week eight of last year, including the playoffs, to right now today, here's where Aaron Rodgers is. Passer rating, 25th. Completion percentage, dead last. Yards per attempt, dead last among qualified quarterbacks. Rodgers somehow, over not a small sample size, has gone from the greatest quarterback I've ever seen to a guy who this Thursday they're playing Brian Hoyer. And I saw stats today that said over the last 12 games, Hoyer's been better in everything. How does that happen? Ryan's producing the show today. He brought up the Tiger Woods corollary to go from playing a sport at the highest level ever to off the map. But we know what happened with Tiger Woods. His wife hit him in the head with a pitching wedge, allegedly. He wrecked his car, had intense shame, and his life blew up in front of the world. I'm of the belief that part of Tiger Woods' greatness on the golf course, as craven as this may sound, was what he was doing off the course. I think for Tiger, it was, everyone thinks I'm this great guy, this beautiful woman's married to me. Meanwhile, I'm sleeping with strippers and porn stars and Perkins waitresses and popping Ambien, and I'm leading this double life and nobody knows and other golfers are scared of me. And once that got pierced, He went away. So Tiger, we have a line of demarcation. This is what happened to him. So what happened to Aaron Rodgers during the bye week last year? Because that's when this started. And I'm not trying to start any rumors or conspiracy theories or anything. What I am saying is it's such a drastic turn. Such a crazy turn cliff he's fallen off that I feel like something must have happened to him it doesn't make sense you simply don't go from even if you think I'm overstating how good he was we all agree one of the two or three best quarterbacks in football for almost a decade I think his best was better than anybody's best but if you want to parse that fine And you don't go from an all-time great to now in his last 12 starts, worst completion percentage, yards per attempt, touchdown interception ratio, and rating than Brian Hoyer. That doesn't happen. You're not dead last in the league since week eight of last year in yards per attempt and completion percentage. And a passer rating worse than what Ryan Tannehill has. That just doesn't happen. So my question is this. What happened? If you have theories, you can tweet them to me, at GetNickWright. If they're your theories, I can read them on the air with my journalistic credibility still intact. Here's Christine with the news. 